Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So today we're gonna to be doing another range test. Uh, the last video I uploaded, we did a range test in the city, just testing out the new firmware to see if it did correct the problem I have been having. And indeed it did. So today I just wanted to do one more out in a rural setting just to see how far we can get. Now to make the test interesting, we're gonna be doing two actual range tests, one with the DJI RC and one with the RCN1, just to see if there's any difference there. And then on top of that, we're also gonna be sending the Mini 2 out just to see again if there's any differences between the Mini 3 and the Mini 2. Now, one thing I do wanna point out here before I get too many comments on this video, I live in Canada, so it is technically legal to fly beyond visual line of sight with a mini drone, a drone that's under 250 grams. Again, being in Canada, we follow Transport Canada regulations for drones, not FAA. And Canada is a little bit more lenient with these small drones, they don't look at them as such a risk. Basically, there's a rule don't do anything stupid. Really, you don't want to do anything that's going to put aviation or people at risk. So again, for me to send my Mini 3 out beyond visual line of sight is perfectly legal in Canada. I've taken all the precautions to make sure I have a safe and successful flight. So that was an interesting test. I flew the Mini 3 with both the RCN1 and the DJI RC. And for the most part, they performed almost identically. Now the DJI RC did lose connection at 4,014 meters, whereas the RCN1 disconnected at 4,285 meters. The RCN1 did appear to have stronger signal strength in some areas, but it was very minuscule compared to the whole flight. At some points, the RC Pro did have a stronger signal strength too. The differences were so minor that I wouldn't say that one is better than the other when it comes to signal strength and distance. And those little minor differences could all boil down to the way I was standing. There's so many different environmental factors that can affect the signal strength. So I was very pleased with that. So if you are on the fence, if you're thinking about purchasing the Mini 3, and you're not sure whether to go with the RCN1 or the RC Pro because you think the RCN1 is going to have a better signal, just due to the fact that that antenna pulls out, really it doesn't make any difference. Now lastly, I also did a range test with the Mini 2, and the reason I did that was just to kind of give me a baseline, something to compare the Mini 3 to. I've always been very pleased with the signal strength and the range of the Mini 2. This way I could kind of see if there was any differences. And for the most part, the signal strength was on par with the Mini 3. The RC signal strength went into the orange for the first time at about 1300 meters at this location. And for most of the remainder of the flight, it stayed in the orange as well, just like the RC Pro and the RCN1 when flying the Mini 3. Now what I found interesting, it actually lost connection to the controller at 3,786 meters. 
So it actually didn't get quite as far as the Mini 3 with the RCN1. So all in all, the range issue on my Mini 3 has been fixed. I know I've made several videos about the issue, the issue that I've been having over the last couple months. That last round of firmware updates did indeed fix it for me. I know some people are still stating that they're not getting good range and hopefully DJI is not done with it yet and they'll continue to tweak things further. Again, I just want to remind you if you're about to file a complaint with the FAA, I live in Canada, so we follow Transport Canada regulations, not FAA regulations. In Canada, we can fly our mini drones beyond visual line of sight as long as we do so in a safe manner and we don't put aircraft or people at risk. Well, folks, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Hopefully you found it interesting and found it had value. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.